Hi everyone, my name is Janice and I'm here to show you another tutorial video. This time it's going to be on the new Perfect Pergola box die set. Ooh, it's a mouthful. <laughs> um, this is an example of what it looks like. Uh, and this is just one I made. I do have others to show, but I'm going to show towards the end because I made a few changes. Um, let's go ahead and show you the dies that it comes with. Actually, I already have it on my magnet sheet. As you can see, um, these are all interchangeable hexagons that you can use uh, for the dot or wherever you want to use it on there. Of course, these will be the inner sides, um, the outside. This is actually a little platform on there. But during the video, I'll show you each die um, along with the paper and how many to cut in. That way you know um, how many to use and be able to follow along. But you can see right here, these do have little handles, um, which would be the little paper pieces right here. And you have different options that you can use for it. I thought this was really neat and really cool. Um, it'll probably be a little bit long video, so I'm probably going to pre-cut some pieces and go ahead and glue and paste things. So it'll be kind of quicker. But um, if you have any questions, just write them below and I'll make sure to answer them. All right, let's go ahead and start on the video. The first thing we are going to do is go ahead and get all our pieces cut out. The first one is going to be the larger side. This is going to be um, the outside of the box. We're going to need to cut four of these pieces. Next will be the inner side. We're going to cut out five of these. This is going to be the box, um, the hexagon box. We're going to cut out nine of these pieces. This one, we're going to cut out two of these pieces. Next is the bottom rectangle drawer. We're going to cut out four. This large piece is um, the platform. We're gonna, we're gonna need two of these pieces. And for this, this is gonna be the drawer shelf. We'll need only two. And for the base and the top, we're gonna need five of these. Next is gonna be the hexagons. You can see that there's the same size. The only difference is this one goes all the way to the edge of the die and this one goes towards the middle. So with this, we're gonna cut out two of the larger pieces and then three of the smaller pieces. Little handles, there's gonna be two different styles. This one's gonna be for the top three drawers. You're just gonna need three. And then this one's gonna be for the bottom two drawers and you're just gonna need two. And they have different handles on there. Um, you can choose any one that you prefer. I did this set and you'll want to do five of each. Um, now we can go ahead and assemble. Um, go ahead and get one of your inner sides, the one that we cut five of. Just get one and then you're going to see these little notches right in the corner. We're going to cut all the way across. And this is what you should have after you cut it. Um, I went ahead and folded both pieces and added some tissue tape. And this is gonna be a piece that actually holds um, the bottom base together. So what we will do next is get one of these large pieces. And go ahead and get these two pieces. I went ahead and did tissue tape on both sides. Go ahead and make sure you crease everything really well too. That way it'll be nice and crisp. And then what we will do, just on one side, we'll do the bottom. We're going to attach it to the base.
Now with this piece, we're gonna take off um, the tape and we're gonna attach it like this. This keeps the drawers separate. And if I'm going too fast in the video, um, you can pause it at any time. So you should have this when everything's put together. Next, we're gonna get one more of the screen base and we're gonna just glue it right on top. Or in this case, tape it. <laughs> okay. Next, we are gonna get our four drawer pieces. And um, we're going to go ahead and crease everything, and then we're going to glue it like this. When you're done, they should look like this. And we will go ahead and set that aside and move on to the next piece, which is going to be the bottom drawers. Next, we're going to go ahead and get the smaller of the hexagons. There should be three of them. And then we're going to get our nine sides. And we're going to make all three of the drawers. Um, as you can see, I did three of the white and then six of the blue because these will be like the sides of the drawer and then I was planning on doing this as the front so I could decorate it. But you can do um, all the same or different, uh, whichever, whichever one you prefer. So we will just do one set and then I will assemble the others quickly. And go ahead and do this to all three. When you're done, you should have three drawers. I went ahead and decorated the front. After that, go ahead and set these off to the side and get our platform pieces. has a lot of creasing so go ahead and crease all of it after we are done creasing we're going to go ahead and glue on these ends Once they are all connected, go ahead and glue on the larger of the hexagons onto both sides. Once you have the tops on, um, go ahead and get your inner sides, we're actually gonna glue the sides to the base.
going to attach it inside like this. I'm going to hold it and then we're going to do the rest of the sides. And now with the last piece, um, you'll notice that I didn't put any of the tape right here because what we're going to do is go ahead and cut off um, that edge. attach it the same way. Now we're going to bring back your drawers and go ahead and get the drawer shelf cut out. The drawer shelf cutouts, which are these pieces. I'm just gonna score these really quick. I'm going to place this on its side. Go ahead and get one drawer and start at the bottom and work our way up. Um, so how we'll be attaching it, you can do either glue or tape. And we'll just be sliding it in. Um, I'm probably going to use glue just because I feel like if I need to move it, it'll be a little bit easier to move around. Your finished drawers should look like this. I went ahead and did some decorative panels on it. And then these are without the handles. We'll be doing that um, last. And I'm probably gonna place a decoration um, up here too. Before we attach the fourth piece, we're going to go ahead and cut off that end. With the last two uh, bases, we're going to do one on the inside and then we're going to put this one directly on top. Go ahead and attach your centerpiece right inside. We're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the last few details, which is the drawer knot. We're just gonna 
crease all these in. Now with these, as you can see, it kind of goes in. I'm going to put these two pieces like this. And these little flaps we're going to glue. Ooh, my glue has just so much air in it right now. <laughs> and then we're going to push that over. Same thing on the other side. Gonna hold it so it can stick like a tiny little box <laughs> and then this is the last flap that we're gonna glue just put that right on top and you should get this little box and do the same thing to the other one. Okay, now the drawers for this one, it's gonna be this. We're just folding it all in. And if you do the two bottoms together, it'll be like this. We're actually gonna glue it just like that. Let me see if I can get it better. So just fold, fold, and then we'll glue. Once you have your drawers decorated, and your knobs put together we will go ahead and assemble I just wanted to show what I did I just um, put on a piece of foam and then I just placed the pieces on top and then we'll just glue these handles to the front of the drawers and then these will go right here and I'll be putting the um, blue ones right here. This is what it should look like with it all assembled. And then we just Place them inside, and basically we're pretty much done. Uh, now it's just decorating the rest and um, just adding whatever things you might want to add to it. So I will go ahead and finish decorating, and I'll come right back when I'm done. This is the completed make, and you can see the little detailing all around it and I really love that it's like a little peekaboo and then of course the working drawers super cute and then um I added this with uh the twine I just glued it right underneath the the lid that I had foam tape with um and then this little heart is actually from the die I don't know if you can see the little hearts right there but I just kept the pieces that I had cut and um, saved it and just added that little heart because I thought, you know, I don't like wasting stuff. <laughs> and let me go ahead and show you the ones that I mentioned in the beginning of the video saying that I did um, like a little changes. Here is one. And it's got doors. And all it is is the side paneling. Um... I did it the same way I got to this step and then I did two more of the um, sides and just glued it from the inside and then made little flaps. And these are just um, foam pockets just to raise it. You could put like a little note if you wanted to. 
And then the same thing, just the regular drawers. I did some of the, um, what was it? Washi tape, like lines. And then I just used um, some of the stamps to like blend it in. And then all these pieces are all from the dies. I didn't use anything um, from like a different die set or anything. I just kept the pieces that were um, on here. And um, basically all I did was right after I ran it through the die machine, I flipped it over, put some washi tape on so that when, when I pulled them apart, all the pieces would be in the same spot. So it was a lot easier to put um, Otherwise, it'd be taking me like forever just to like piece it together. <laughs> and then I added just the bow right on top. <laughs> and another one I did, I thought I really liked the size of the, the box. I still did these um, on there and made a lid so I can make it another gift box. <laughs> And then you could fit like this is the size of the regular um, glue and it, it fits in there so I was like oh be more things to put in <laughs> and I actually got inspired with the colors from a Chex box that I do not have but it was a holiday Chex box and it had all these colors on it so I was like oh I want to do that <laughs> and I did <laughs> and here's a close, close up of all of them and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the new makes. And I hope it inspires you for your own creations. And that's all. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.